Bamboo Lab just quietly shipped a free print farm software. It's called the Bamboo Farm Manager. And many farmers, including us, are asking the same question. Is this a game changer we've been waiting for? So we installed it in our machines in our farm. And in this video, I'll show you the features, how to set it up, pros and cons, how much money it saves, and if it actually makes sense for your 3D print business. By the end, you will know if this farm software will save or waste your time. I'm Jan Jan, and we run the most automated 3D print farm in Switzerland. Our mission is to support you kickstart your 3D print business by sharing tools, trainings, and our automatic printing system called FarmLoop. After the release of FarmLoop, Bamboo Lab actually reached out to me. At that time, the farm manager was in beta phase, and they wanted feedback from real print farms. Plus point to them caring about the fast-growing farmers community. Before we explore the features, let's see how painful the setup actually is. The server needs to run on a PC that's always on. And when I say PC, I mean Windows only. No Mac, no Linux, at least not yet. But for testing, I'm installing both the server and client on the same computer. Then you need to disconnect the printers from your Bamboo Lab account. Once you do this, you lose all cloud control, no more checking prints from your phone remotely, they're only accessible through Farm Manager from now on. The good news, detection's automatic once they're on the same network. The bad news, mine all showed offline immediately. Turns out, Windows Firewall was blocking the connections. After adding the server to the inbound rules, which took me 20 minutes to figure out, finally we're online. Oh, and there's this new icon on our A1 Minis now. Two trees, bamboo trees, either way, we're connected. So what can this actually do? Let me show you with a real example. We're currently printing our new FarmLoop fan upgrade holders. The workflow starts familiar. Slice it in Bamboo Studio like always, but instead of sending it to the printer, we now send it to the BFMC, that's Bamboo Farm Manager Client. The client detects it seamlessly. From here, you've got two options. Store it in the file system for later or create the task immediately. The printers tab shows all connected machines, including the progress, status and filament colors. Pretty standard stuff. And by toggling the dashboard view, you can see the camera snapshot of the printers. Pretty convenient. But here's where it gets interesting. If you want to print only one part, you can go to File Manager, create a task and send it directly. If you want to print multiple copies, then you can send them to the queue. The clever part is the fleet management. It automatically assigns job to fitting printers with the right filament. When the print is done, you must manually confirm collection before the next job starts. And here's where our farm loop system can save the day by automatically detaching it. But does it actually work with the farm manager? Let's try it out. I'm taking a scar holder from MakerWord. Position it so our system can softly lift it off the plate. We upload to our farm loop app and select the detachment parameters. Then we open the modified file and send it to the farm manager and it works. The system accepts our loop G-code without issues. We have a fan upgrade installed on this A1 Mini to dramatically reduce cooldown time and makes detachment even easier. But this will be the topic of the next video. So subscribe to not miss that. This is actually huge. Farm Manager handles queue management and monitoring, while Farm Loop handles the physical automation. The bottleneck of manual collection solved. Before we go to the cost saving calculation, let's be brutally honest about what works and what doesn't. Here are the pros and cons. Let's start with the pros. First, Bamboo Lab acknowledging that print farms matter, that's huge. They're finally taking us seriously. Second, the setup, despite the firewall hiccup, is relatively straightforward if you're already in the Bamboo ecosystem. Third, and this is critical, it works with FarmLoop. This compatibility wasn't guaranteed, but it's there. Now to the cons. The dashboard is borderline useless. Without live video or snapshot, you're flying blind. The printer step is the actual dashboard. Number two, connection stability is questionable. We had multiple disconnects while sending jobs, but this might be a bug. What is really missing is that you lose all Bamboo handy features. No remote monitoring from your phone. No sending prints from home? Yes, there are workarounds, but that's not an out-of-the-box solution. The last but not least contra point is that it only works with Bamboo Lab printers. We know that many print farms run these printers, but some of them, including us, have printers from other brands, which cannot be integrated. So will we roll out Bamboo Lab Farm Manager to our complete farm? Not before testing other softwares. If you have a tip, let me know in the comments. Your input shapes the next review. Now let's do a rough calculation of what this software would actually save us. Without FarmLoop, I used to spend 10 to 15 minutes every morning going through orders, creating a printing plan, finding the 3MF and sending them individually to each printer. Then throughout the day, constant interruptions to check the failed prints or surface defects. 
not just time consuming, but it breaks your focus repeatedly. So the total time saved with a farm management software, around 20 minutes a day. At an hourly rate of $25, that's $200 monthly saved. That's literally another A1 Mini right there. Now with Farmloop, it's a completely different story. We're already printing 30 to 100 part batches without restarting or rechecking. So why add farm software? Simple, it's overview and control. When you're juggling multiple materials, customer orders and deadlines across 30 plus printers, you need that bird eye view. A farm management software gives you that command center, while Farmloop handles the automation. So who is this actually for? Let me pull up our farm layer roadmap to answer the key question. At layer 1, with under 100 sales and 1 to 3 printers, you can skip it. The complexity isn't worth it yet. At layer 2, with 100 to 1000 sales and 4 to 10 printers, now it starts making sense. You need oversight of what's printing where. At layer 3, running 10 plus printers, this is where combining Farm Manager with Farm Loop becomes powerful. Use Farm Manager for job distribution and monitoring and Farm Loop for automation. Instead of drowning in daily operations, you can focus on designing the next bestseller. What's my conclusion as of now? The Bamboo Lab Farm Manager is a decent first step in the right direction, but it's not the revolution we hoped for, yet. It's free, it works with Farm Loop, and it's missing critical features for serious farms. But wait, before you go, we're doing our biggest giveaway ever. We're giving away a brand new Bamboo Lab A1 Mini to one lucky winner. To enter, you need to do two things. First, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And second, follow us on Instagram, link in the description below. We will announce the winner by the end of September 2025 on Instagram. And if you are serious about scaling your 3D printing business, our school community has the complete farm loop system, pricing calculators and CAD training waiting for you. Link is in the description. Until next time, happy printing 3D farmers.